Hello, this is a tutorial on two things. First, the driver reduces the statements, and then what it means to suppress exceptions. And also a quick look at auto closable. So, all of these have appeared in Java 7. And we will start with auto closable, which is used with the driver reduces statements. And if we go to the Java log of it, you can see that pretty much everything is auto-closable and this includes anything which is also closable which means all of these if we go back to the code what we have here is an exception which we define note that it is not unchecked but checked we define an interface foo which extends auto closable and here you see that we do override the close method so that instead of throwing exception it throws my exception. If you go and see the Java lock of auto closable, Oracle recommends that you do this. We use Mokito to emit an instance of foo. And we also use Mokito to make foo throws an exception either when the foo method is invoked or when the close is invoked or both. So we will start with an exception throw when the foo method is called. Please do know that you can do this, that is, if you have an autoclosable resource which you have as an argument but you want to trigger it to close, you can just create another reference to it inside the try by resource statement and it will work. We don't want those, we throw that immediately if it happens, and we do check that the exception we specified on foo is what is thrown when my exception is thrown, is say now. Second test case, the foo method does not throw but kills does. So here we see that unlike in the previous statement, we do not check that the exception is thrown here, it is not. But this close does throw an exception, the exception will be thrown, and again we check that it is the same that we specified. Now what happens if both the full method and the close throw an exception? And here we get to the suppressed exception. And get suppressed. Basically, prior to Java 6, well, Java 7, I mean, you will just lose one of them. But with Java 7, you have both. What happens is that here the exception is thrown. So the exception which is actually thrown. In the and code in the catch block is the exception thrown by the foo method. Now what happens on this exception, because close has also thrown, what happened is that it is suppressed. It has been suppressed and it is attached, if we can say so, to the exception which was thrown by the foo method and we do get this exception as the first suppressed exception. If you see the Java doc here, you see that it returns an array of throwables. So this means that more than one exception can be suppressed. Well, now we will just run the test and see what's what. 
all tests are simulated. So here, that was a quick rundown on what dry reservoirs is and what suppressed exceptions are.